Okay, hey everybody. So, if you watched um, the last video, this is on that was on making the cylinder. Now that we have our cylinder, we are actually going to move on to making our teapot. Now, the classic teapot shape is more rounded at the base. So, we're going to need to pull out our base. So, I'm going to slow my cylinder a bit. I don't want it as fast. But it's pretty simple from once you've made your cylinder. So you're going to get some water on the inside and I'm going to take three fingers and I'm basically going to put them at the base of my pot and pull out. But I'm not gonna pull out all the way to the top. So I'm not gonna pull my hand all the way up. I'm gonna stop at about here because I don't want my opening of my teapot to get any bigger. So I'm gonna wet my hand as well. So I've gotten that kind of rounded shape that I want. It's a little bit bumpy, so you're gonna to wanna to be very careful. And I'm going to take my four fingers and I'm going to place two thumbs on the side near me and my two fingers on the outside. And I'm gonna just choke the top of my pot in a bit. And that helps to close up that shape. Now, I have the shape how I want it. So I'm gonna take my sponge, get as much of that water out as possible. I'm gonna take my metal rib tool and I'm actually just gonna scrape the outside of my pot. Get any of that excess slip out of there. Okay, now before I finish my pot, I'm going to grab a couple of things. So, before I cut my pot off this base, you're going to have to trim this. But a good way to um, kind of help with that trimming process is to take my wooden knife, this guy, and just hold it steady and cut off some of that excess clay at the base, keeping that angle. And it's just gonna take off some of that extra stuff that I don't actually want or need. There we go, perfect. Now you wanna make sure that you get to seal this top off. So I'm gonna just take my two fingers wet end. You wanna make sure that this is pretty smooth because you're gonna make lids for these. And if it's pretty chalky and crazy up here with a bunch of extra slip. It's gonna be hard to make a top. Now, before I cut my top off, I need to measure for my lid. Now, we're gonna make a drop down lid for this demo and I'll do other demos as well. But drop down lid is basically when a lid has a little lip on the inside that then when you drop it down in, it won't fall off because it has that inner lip. So the way to measure for a drop down lid, you first, need to measure can you see this perfect you need to measure from the inside to the inside not from the outside to the outside if you measure from the outside to the outside it's not going to fit inside so i'm going to measure from this to here and that's how i'm going to figure out how long or how big that inner lip needs to be so i'm gonna flip this around from there to there I'm exactly three and a half inches. Now, you need to now write this down. Even if you're going to make your lid right now, I don't care, you need to write down exactly what this length is this minute, and here's why. Your clay, as you know, has a shrinkage rate, and each clay, every individual type, has a different type of shrinkage rate as it dries out. If you don't measure your clay right now, by the time tomorrow rolls around and you're like, oh wait, I need to measure for a lid, your clay will have already shrunk. And since I doubt any of you guys are going to want to take the time to measure the shrinkage rate calculation to figure out how much it shrunk over that amount of time to now figure out exactly how big your lid should be so it shrinks to the right size, 
you should just measure it now. So that way you know for tomorrow when you come into class, oh, when I make my lid on the wheel, it needs to be 3.5 inches because I already measured it and I don't have to deal with any of the shrinkage rate calculations. So please do this. That way we're not stuck with you complaining about how you have to calculate your shrinkage rate. So that is how to make a teapot rounded. Our next demo will be how to make a um, drop in lid on the wheel.